we say pops with different mamas and the kids are scared to travel. They don't cross the county limits. Little international, get bust the Coliseum. Ironic from the Bart train, show tourists call us hopeless. We track genius broken hearted residents of Oakland. I got this bulletproof dress and yes, I have been wearing it. My mama rocked it first, suppose it is inherited. All of my apparel is crafted this way. I got this six six senses of premonition and hey, bet you notice in my posture, way I open with an Asta. Tarde on my way out, hope you get your spray out. Never see me splayed out, I duck fast and no master come gunning for me. He test eye, rest eyes open watching the scene. I won't be caught dead, rather live it up free, but the weight of this dress been weighing on me and it's hard to move softly. In an iron fatigue, meaning I run fatigued, mean I'm creased at the seams, mean I'm beasting with dreams, mean I'm boasting of things broken when I'm coaxed off my dean, and it's so hard to focus when I hoe in my dreams, and it's so elongated when I post on the scene. Every black girl, everyone, even me, been pimped, poked, prodded, and sold on the cheap. It's part of her process, part of what haunts her, fucks up the rhyme scheme, makes her a monster, harder to breathe, harder to speak, sorry to beat drop, but sometimes there is no meter, just repeating lines, just consecutive sentences like the ones being served by the men I grew up with. We're turning boys behind six inches of glass in this poem. I'm walking with my feet turned inward and the gate on my stalking grows short and uh, unfinished because uh, ever since he made me touch it, the words don't come like they used to and I don't feel like talking about it. And I don't feel like doing anything but cussing the motherfucker out, controlling something, something, anything besides this dress masquerading as my body. It seems so steel these days. No chest to fear, fear these days. I don't die. I am told I multiply, but the school say I can't act right. So fuck trying to act right. Struck by a black knight of my own depression undiagnosed, unmedicated, bipolar like low in North Pole, like arms and elbows, turf dancing around poor education, and substandard air quality has made me expectant of death. They said the girls from West Oakland got no self-respect. Well, that's all I have left. I invest in a dress that protects all my best. And sometimes I miss love while dodging the drama. It's ten to my knees in this bulletproof armor. <laughs> Time Def Jam, poet, performer, uh, playwright, actor, hell of a singer. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Raphael Basal. <laughs> There are six kids standing around a play structure that just abruptly stopped shooting out the water they were playing with. My nephew, Sean, years and feet behind his Insta friends at Cedar Rose Park, stands among the cluster of kids trying to summon the water back. They keep trying variations of open sesame at a non-responsive spout. I'm afraid one day they're going to tell Sean that he has attention deficit, a disorder that one in four men are infected with. The band-aid on a mystery they wish to decomplicate, then medicate to accommodate the commonness of why he can't concentrate. Okay. They'll say in class he seems lost. I say his mind has free sight. But nowadays we raise young ones to be much more machine-like, because big industry needs employees who are machines, right? Who don't make history, just live on some efficiency, hype, march, and submission. That's the mission, keep the wow. seams tight. Teach Woo. kids the repetition till they grow up into street types. Yeah. Now here's my nephew. Homework in one hand and the 2011 equivalent of Legos in the other. In this corner, an unbelievably blank, unanswered page of questions he could not be less engaged in. And in this corner, a four-foot-long working replica of the Star Wars Millennium Falcon creatively constructed using four different Lego sets retractable landing gear and a working loading bay. Clearly, <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker don't have a problem paying attention. <laughs> He'd just rather be paying invention. So as I investigate your motives for why you try to medicate him, I beg to question. Now, let's do the equation. It's $24 for a bottle of... Ritalin, that's 100 milligrams, 1,000 milligrams and one gram, that's $2,400 for every gram of Ritalin in the country. Now, it's sold by the kilo, kind of like another popular American drug. So, um, <laughs> that'd be $2,400,000 for every kilo of Ritalin in the country, times the 17,816 that were brought in and sold in the business pharmaceutical year 2001. That means back then, it was a $42,283,200,000 industry. It's brilliant. Teach kids they're inferior, then have them buy back their efficiency, and at first, I thought attention deficit must be on some new epidemic shit till I found out the U.S. consumes globally 90% of it. Diagnose you inferior so your privatized medics get your money in a country where we go broke buying our benefits. <laughs> <laughs> 
And I don't want Sean to ever look up from his paper and wonder why everyone else is on page 15 and he's still on page 2. Because he's been off daydreaming about making Millennium Falcon masterpieces and drawing Spider-Man till his fingers hurt and had to snap out of his daydream just to satisfy you. Don't tell Sean he learns wrong. If minds didn't wander, we wouldn't have Gandhi for your spiritual revolution. No black power fish shaking at a crumbling divide. No Vietnam soldiers on their way home. Shit, hip-hop came from kids who couldn't seem to fucking pay attention. There'd be no jazz, no tap. Shit, we'd still think the world was flat if not for straying attention. And as I watch... My now three-year-old's nephew's mind begins to wander as the rest of the kids bark secret code words at a non-responsive tap in hopes of bringing the water back. Sean, much younger and smaller than the rest, scans the playground, steps outside of the box and walks over to press a shiny silver dollar-sized button on a red post which reignites the water and shoots it into the palms of these eager youngsters. He walks back to the group, smug. <laughs> right then he could have been Rizal, Monet, Marx, Neruda, Malcolm, the one to step outside the box and do something powerful. They are afraid of you, Sean, because you beg to question. Because boys like you grow into men worth a mention. Build a world with your blocks. Draw in any direction. And if they ever tell you that you can't focus, good. Pay them no Squad is in the house. We all do music and theater and poetry and stuff together. Other cat I want to bring up, which wasn't even on the bill, but he's here, and so y'all should hear him. Um, I'm gonna bring up my co-pilot, motherfucker, and the get back, Davi Diggs. So give it up for Davi. Uh, I'll be brief and get out of your way. I'm just gonna spit. This is this is a, an intro song that Chinaka asked me to do, and I do everything that Chinaka asked me to do. This is like a career choice. <laughs> Anything Chinaka asked, I do. I made that decision a long time ago and never told her that. But, but every play she writes, if there's a part for me, I'm in it. Whatever she wants, I'm doing it. So, next week. What? We're doing a reading. We have rehearsal tonight. Next week, you can see a, new, a reading of Chinaka Hodge's new play at the Bay Area Playwrights Festival. Um, I'm in it. Raphael Casal is in it. A lot of other brilliant Bay Area actors are in it. It's going to be awesome. All right. Breath of fresh air from a fairly fresh place. Fresh jeans, fresh kicks, and a fresh face. Old school to these freshmen, and it tastes fresh squeeze to these morning streets, I be OJ. On Bart listening to MP3s of these other MCs trying to figure how I'm different then, better then, flip it then. Let me be explicit and say fuck you anybody that ain't get back specific. Not to be a hater, but I feel like something greater than. Alligator face away from the game that I'm playing in. Bass hits for these bass wits in the basement. I'm basically based in this bass from the base. Shit. And they want to say that the bottoms is the bottom, but I'm calling it the top. If they feel me, then I got them on that Morrison music for this Tony I'm pursuing after four for your amusement and you don't know why I do it. I do it for my town. I do it for my Gouda. I do it for my favorite artist, so pardon my Sula. I do it for my pupils dilated in their schools who learn to coolly talk they shit because they've been treated like manure. My family for sure who taught me to maneuver and said embrace your contradictions because nothing is truer. I'd let you be the juror but you lack all the facts because I'm underrepresented except for my voice on these tracks. And picking up the slack of a bunch of lazy ears, thinking I'm just making noise, blood. I've been around for years. Shaking spears, kissing babies, making peers listen. Lately, they say, Diggs, you want some other shit? I tell them, maybe. Other than what? Other than pop? Other than Jay? Other than Big? Other than Jeezy Weezy or Drake? Other than, say, a 40 water, though I keep my collar pop too? Other than Keek, although that is often what I rock to? Is there anybody else you say this other shit to? Am I gonna be other whatever other shit I do? Maybe I'm just other than famous. Maybe I just have to accept that that's where I remain. But if that's true. It won't be due to lack of noise making. I'ma hammer these lyrics till the songs break pavement. I'ma cook these bars till the streets smell bacon. I'm a pig eating everything that's there for the taking. I'm making these statements. I'm making these statements just to get it on the record. If you should hear it, hold me to it. This is not a lecture. This is more a call to anybody with an earshot that from now on, like it or not, this nigga digs is here. I got a squad that a mob on the game at the drop of a dime, and it's time that you all know the name. This the get back behind me. Now watch how we gain. Hi, I'm Davide Diggs, and I've got something to say. I'm tired of worrying about whether you gon' like it. I'm tired of tripping off whether somebody go buy it. I got a lot to holler, some mad, some good. Keep listening, you'll witness something fresh from the hood. Get back. Yeah. <laughs>